Welcome to our physics presentation. We will be discussing the physics of driving and key topics from chapter 1. Time. Reaction time is how long it takes for you to react to a situation. The longer the reaction time is, the longer it takes for you to react to a situation. If you are speeding and you see another car or red light, you need to stop in order to avoid an accident. Certain factors can come into effect, such as a person's reaction time, including age, gender, visibility, and personality. Braking distance is how long it takes for you to slow to a stop while braking. This can vary and depends on different factors, including what type of car you have, the condition of your tires, and the road you drive on. It affects your ability to avoid an accident and to safely stop before the intersection. If you double the initial speed, the braking distance quadruples. The yellow light conundrum. In an intersection, there are five factors at play. The duration of the yellow light, the initial speed of the vehicle, the intersection's width, the driver's reaction time, and ne negative acceleration. The first three factors play a key role in the go zone, or the distance from the intersection where you know you will be safe and will make it across the intersection. The stop zone is the opposite, and is also affected by these factors, except for the duration of the yellow light. In the stop zone, you stop. In the go zone, you go. Sometimes they overlap, and sometimes they create a dilemma. The dilemma zone is the point where either of your choices is unsafe. If you stop, you may stop in the middle of the intersection, and if you go, you may be in the middle of the intersection when the light turns red. The overlap zone is where it is safe to stop or to go. There are many variables that come into play when trying to calculate the go zone and stop zone, these being yellow light time, human response time, speed, negative acceleration rate, and width of the intersection. Factors of acceleration, velocity, and distance have an impact on driving as knowing all of them is important for safe driving, but it's important to know the differences for each. Velocity is the object's speed in a set direction. Acceleration is the vehicle's change in speed and direction or the change in velocity and distance and how far the object has traveled. To find these, you need to know some equations. Acceleration in velocity over change in time. Speed is distance over time and velocity is distance over time in a given direction. There is no accurate measurement. There are two types of errors. Systematic errors, which can easily be, be fixed and are caused by using the wrong units, centimeters, millimeters, or feet, or starting an inch early. And there's also random errors, which cannot be corrected by calculations. Accuracy and precision in measurement. Accuracy is getting close to the accepted value, in this case, getting as close to a bullseye as possible. Precision is when your shots or measurements are close to each other. Thanks for watching.